I'm sure most of you have heard of Dumb and Dumber, but for those who haven't, this is a new hard-hitting political documentary about the rise of George W. Bush and Sarah Palin's careers. Ooh, look at the buns on that one. Yeah, he must work out. <laughs> yeah, I took the easy joke, but fuck it. Dumb and Dumber doesn't really need an introduction. It's the 1994 comedy starring Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels, directed by the Farley Brothers. In the movie, Jim Carrey plays Lloyd Christmas, who is a limo driver. At the beginning of the movie, he drops off a woman named Mary Samsonite, played by Lauren Holly, at the airport. He becomes infatuated with her, notices that she leaves her suitcase. He then convinces his best friend, Harry Dunn, played by Jeff Daniels, to go on a cross-country trip to the warm city of Aspen to return the briefcase. And hilarity ensues. Dumb and Dumber is the third movie in the 1994 hat trick for Jim Carrey. The first being Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, the second being The Mask. That's really a crazy feat. I can't think of anybody else that's put out three classic movies, comedies or otherwise, in one year. All of them fantastic. All of them hold up well today, at least in my opinion. There's some stuff that date them. In Dumb and Dumber, for example, the music kind of dates the movie as well as fashion, but that always kind of dates every movie. Jeff Daniels and Jim Carrey are comedic gold in this movie. By the time it came out, Jim Carrey was essentially already established as a great comedic actor because of both Ace Ventura and The Mask. But Jeff Daniels is primarily known as a dramatic actor. The only two movies I can come up with off the top of my head for him in the 90s were Fly Away Home with Anna Paquin flying some fucking birds and Die Hard on a Bus. I mean, I mean, I mean Speed. The briefcase, as it turns out, was actually meant for a ransom. So as these two dummies... go cross country they're being pursued by two hitmen or hit people one's a woman one's a man the man is played by mike Starr, who's the only one that really holds his own against jeff daniels and jim carrey in the movie he doesn't have that much interaction with him but when he does it's freaking great his reaction to the most annoying sound in the world is pretty hilarious speaking of the most annoying sound in the world that was actually an improvision by Jim Carrey. Mike Starr he is very funny throughout and in my opinion really the only part of that subplot uh, that is funny. So the movie is essentially a road trip comedy. Most of the time in a big dog on the way to Aspen. Besides the the hitmen that they run into they also run into police and truckers that just want to kick their ass. Police officer was a small part played by Harlan Williams. He was also in another Farley Brothers movie. He was the hitchhiker in There's Something About Mary. This movie is hilarious throughout. It's pretty consistent. The third act, which is going to be the weakest act in a lot of films, was actually very strong in this one. A lot of memorable parts about that, including Jeff Daniels getting his tongue stuck to a pole, the infamous bathroom scene, and those very stylish and oft-imitated tuxedos. So it's kind of pointless because I'm sure you've made up your mind years and years ago whether or not you want to see this movie or like this movie. But this movie is rated A. So what's your favorite Jim Carrey movie? I would have to go with Ace Ventura. I was obsessed with Ace Ventura when I was a kid. I remember my dad first explaining to me that a haircut was called a DA, which stands for duck's ass. Which kind of makes sense. And you also have Tone Loke and Courtney Cox. So again, tell me what your favorite Jim Carrey movie is. Make your mark below. Thank you so much for watching. Mmm, peanut butter and jelly. So on their way to aspirin. Look at the caboose on that one. Yeah, he must work out. <laughs> Yeah, it was the obvious joke, but it's obvious for a reason, right? Huh? Huh?